this tutorial is on adding and deleting pages from your teacher site. So again, we'll go to the login, we'll click on the Google, we'll log in, we're going to navigate to our page, and these are the pages that show right now. So I'm going to go ahead and add a page. I have a choice of blogs, calendars, content space page which is just the regular page that you normally just put content in. A discussion forum, document container, external link, forum, etc. So let's just go with the content space page. And then we need to, to name this. We'll call it Science First Power. Remember to hit the little arrow and then we're going to create the page. This is where you'll add, these are the assignments for first hour science. Okay, and then we're just going to go ahead and publish this. It's asking if we want to go from hidden to publish. We're going to say yes. That puts it into the navigation pane on the left-hand side. So there's my science first hour. Okay, so I can also delete pages. Let's just go up to here, and I want to delete pages. So I can go to Page Status. Uh, this is a thing that you need to remember. Always go back to your main page here to find the page status. And then I can delete this page. I can just click on that and just say Archive. And it's going to go ahead and archive it, and then I'll close this. So it's going to be gone. I can check my archive subpages. I can unarchive it or I can delete it. Let's just unarchive and it'll be back. If you decide at a later date that you want to get rid of the sidebar, you can do that, but then you'll need to make sure you have links to these pages from someplace else. And you can just do that by again going to page status and you can go ahead and hide. Let's just go ahead and hide those. And we're just going to close that. Whoops, I just did three. Let's do three. Okay. So now all, that's all I have left. I can go back and undo that if I want to by just again going to page status and then just going to show. And there they go. We'll just close that and they'll be back. I can also change the page order. So I just go to page order and I can just drag these wherever I want to and update the page order. If you want to do an external link page, you can. So you can go to external link page and we're going to call this and so my address, and then I need to make sure I bring my name down. And then I always like to have it open in a new window, so I'm going to create the page. And so now this link right there should take me right to my Gunnison page. It does. One last page I want to show you is the document container page. These are really nice if you want to put a a lot of files in there. So um, assignments, we can maybe call this assignments. Bring the name down. We're going to create the page. And then it's got a document container. So I can add a file or a folder. So maybe I can call this, do a folder first. And we'll call the folder first hour. And then I'll go ahead. I can put a little description there if I'd like. I'm going to just create the folder. And then to add something into that folder, I can just open it. And there's nothing in there. And I can add a file to it. You can drag or you can find them from your, from your um, desktop. So let's just go to 
we'll just go with to this one here drag that and we're going to start the upload and say so that file will be in there there it is right there to delete that i just click it come here delete selected and it's gone so again the document container page oops do you are you sure you want to delete it yes i'm sure the document container page is a very nice page to put a bunch of um, uh, files in there. So that's it for adding and deleting pages.